the UK is in a lockdown so my hair is not going to get any better for a long time. Hi, I'm Matt and this is Not Enough Tech. I know it's April's Fools, but this video is not a joke. Today we're gonna talk about Sonoff new product. This is Sonoff Bridge. Um, it's the wrong bridge. That's better. This is Sonoff Zigbee Bridge. I got a pleasure to actually get a testing version uh, so I could test it out, provide my feedback to idea guys and, well, talk to you about Son of Zigbee Bridge. We all knew that Son of is going Zigbee way since the Son of Basic R3 Zigbee edition. That was the first Zigbee product out there, but not the only right now in a Son of lineup. Apart from Son of Zigbee, we also have a Son of Smart Socket, which is Zigbee enabled. This is model S31 and it's available for US market, as you probably imagine from the a socket type and to my surprise son of offers a pre-flush cc2531 that you can use with zigbee air uh, 2 mqtt for a really good price which is 399 i've posted about it in this article here now i've got my hands on son of bridge and you could be mistaken it looks exactly like a son of rf bridge and apart from the different color, yes, it is a different device inside. But before I actually I'm gonna pop those four screws open and take a peek inside what is this made of, let's test it out and link it to a couple of devices. Let's start it. You would pair this as you would with any other son of devices. Just use quick pairing and after a moment you're gonna have the device available for you to use. Name it if you wish and then we'll pop it there with a different uh, Zigbee icon. Now in the settings there isn't much just yet, so let's go ahead and add our first device. I'm going to use some of uh, basic R3 Zigbee edition, so power it on, add a child device. Now it's going to take you a minute regardless of how many devices you're going to add, um, because it will discover the device and then it will time out and add it at the end of the timer. Once the child device has been added, you can start toggling it or using voice assistant to trigger it this way. Now, the visible delay isn't actually a delay. This is update delay caused by the server, but the uh, switching is instantaneous. I also tested the range of the son of Zigbee bridge and I have to say I'm quite impressed because even if I took the device downstairs and went outside of the house, placing the device behind a concrete wall, I was still able to switch this from a single point. Son of Basic R3 Zigbee isn't the only device we can play with today. I have this S31 Lite. This is smart socket that is uh, distributed in US uh, market from Sonoff. It's a similar procedure, just turn the socket on and start adding a child devices. After a minute or so you're gonna have the socket available for you to use. What's disappointing right now is a lack of inching which is available on other Sonoff switches but I could not find this option uh, on either uh, son of basic or the smart socket itself. I know it's hard to see but you have to trust me on that everything work well with a low latency. That all got me thinking could I try all the devices? I've tried with IKEA Tra3 and Xiaomi Agara. Unfortunately each time I would try to pair another Zigbee sensor I was not successful. With exception of Tuya. I have a Zigbee Tuya kit and I was able to pair PR a motion sensor and a temperature sensor with a Weelink app, which means it works. I've not tested the contact sensor because I'm using it in a smart door project, but something tells me it would work just as fine. Okay, I'm slightly disappointed that this bridge didn't work with IKEA stuff. I'm happy it works with uh, Tuya because if you already have these sensors, you'll be able to link it with a Sono bridge, and uh, depending on the price, that could be a better alternative for you. But uh, no all hope is lost because we're gonna take a look inside and inspect how easy it would be to hack this device and make it as compatible as CC2531. So uh, I'll get my screwdriver. The PCB is very easy to access and quickly pops out and you can see that there is a ESP8266EX and a new chip which is EFR32MG21 
And if that name doesn't tell you anything, don't worry, I had to look it up as well. And uh, looking at the specification, apart from Zigbee, it has a support from Bluetooth Low Energy Radio as well. And what's most important, uh, you can carry up to 32 Zigbee devices. Now at the back of the board you'll find that the dev pads are exposed for both, for the new Zigbee chipset and also for the good old ESP8266. I can sense some opportunity for hacking. Son of Zigbee Bridge will be released with an array of sensors. So you're gonna get your usual temperature and humidity sensor, there'll be a motion detection, the PRR sensor, and also a door or window contact sensor and a push button. I don't have any details on pricing just yet, but if the pricing is going to be similar to what you would pay for RF, then that's going to be a very competitive uh, bid on the market. I'm looking forward to test it out and maybe flash test mode if possible in the nearest future. Because this is a preview, this product isn't available for sale yet. I'm going to submit my feedback and what I think about the device to IT at guys, but if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave me a comment and if I know the answer, I'll get back to you. Uh, as probably you know, I do not have a posting schedule, so if you're interested in follow-up to this video and get notified, you probably know how YouTube works. But the best way to keep in touch is probably follow me on social media, because not all my articles come on video, and if you don't want to miss out and get instant notification when I post something new, just follow me on social media of your choice. As for now guys, I hope you were excited to see the Sonobridge Bridge preview uh, as much as I was, and I will gonna see you in the next video. Take care and stay safe. Bye.